Hey YouTube, welcome back to another episode of TSW4. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, today we are doing one Charlie 01 London Paddington to Swansea in a Great West Railway HST Class 43. And I don't care how old you are or where you're from in the world, the Class 43 I think is one of the best um, ever high speed trains um, to grace British Rail and um the uh train tracks in england and i do think it's a sad shame they are going i understand why but um yeah incidentally i was down at plymouth a few weeks ago and um anyone who knows it there is a first great western yard um just as you go into plymouth uh center um and they had a couple of power cars in there and i have to say they looked absolutely amazing um i'd have loved to have uh grabbed a drone anyway um Right, so I don't think we actually have to, um, what am I doing? They had lamps and markers actually, is there a night one? Yeah, um, master key unlocked, throw it into forward. Um, this does actually remind me, where is the DSD and all that lot in this? Uh, I can never remember actually. Ah. That's a spare. That's the headlights. Uh, not there, not there. Not there. I think it's one of these two. That's it. Um, anyway, so we've got to be in Reading in 20 minutes or so. Um, so I suppose we had better get going. So we're at Paddington, uh, as I say, class 43. I, I, I do think I look really smart in the Great West Railway livery too. Um, you, you can't really beat the old um, British Rail uh, 125 livery. Um, but you probably can do, but yeah. Um, the only thing which I find a bit depressing is this. It sounds a bit depressing really. Anyway, so we're restricted to 40 miles an hour on the um, exit of Pad Paddington. As I say, we are living in River Lake. <coughs> it does kind of annoy me that a little bit that you are literally on the button. You, you, you just got no prep time really <laughs> for the cab, but never mind. Um, I don't know if it's like that in real life. I doubt it. I used to drive bus buses and, and, well, theoretically, you were supposed to get a couple of minutes to change over. But anyway, um, enough about my former life. Uh, there's an inbound there. Um, I do like the Great West Railway add-on, and I think it's really good. I, it, it would be nicer if it went further than Red, went further than Reading. Um, but then again, I, I, I kind of think that I mean, having grown up in East Grinstead, um, it'd be nice to have done London Victoria to to East Grinstead, um, Horsham as well. Um, but I guess you can't please everyone. Um, and I would say that's that's the only real annoyance. Um, I now live near Slough, so the good thing is I get to stop at the train station that I do use when I go and get the trains. The other annoying thing I find with the Great West Railway, and I was kind of hoping that TSW4 would bring an update or force the creator of the Great West Railway pack to update the line to, to accept the class 800s on it, um, Hitachis or whatever they're called, I don't know, I don't know my train classes overly well, um, as you can probably tell, but it, but it just, but it's just, just sort of, the, the line's now, elect now electrified, um, <coughs> excuse me, you've also got the, the, the Elizabeth line um, run, running on it now, um, which is a train I get quite often. Um, and also, you've got like Electrostar units now being used by, um, well, what was first Great, first Great Western, um, which is now Great West Railway. Um, not too sure why first made a, made a decision to change that, but I believe it's still operated by first group. So, yeah, who knows? Um, I think I'm legally allowed to say that now. I no longer work for First Bus, but yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, and I haven't 
worked for them for years and years and years and years um, so yeah all good so we got a 50 mile an hour speed restriction now so we can ramp the, thwart ramp the throttle up a little bit um, it does make me laugh that literally by the time you kind of hit slough you're at full speed um, whereby on the old the old overheads I think you would be pretty much up to speed by about now so I'm just gonna just gonna idle the thr the um, thr the uh, throttle down we don't need any brakes because we're going uphill still um, and it is freaking dark out there and I've even got what must I put on the yeah the night light so I don't understand why anyway we're allowed to go up to 85 or 100 I think I believe if I remember correctly I'm just gonna throttle up a bit because the tail end should 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 thank you um, <laughs> be at the end now um, so we can go up to 100 miles an hour good old Valenta engines I do I, I just love the sound of it um, in fact if anyone knows if they're still actually running um, between Reading and Paddington um, I know that there's several lines Swansea clip clip Plymouth, Exeter, yada 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 yada, the list goes on. Um, if there is any Class 43s still on the tracks going into Pad Paddington, I'd love to know because um, and what di and also what di di diagrams are on as well because I would really love to um, have a chance just to get on one at Slough. Um, but I am going to guess that they're not really going to be used on the Slough stops trying to stop stopping slout I might be wrong um, but let us know um, yeah let us know let us know because I just love the 43 it, it's just yeah a great feat of Brit British engineering um, incidentally I know that they are going out to co countries like Africa and all of that which is which again is is a bit strange because obviously emission laws and, and environmental laws and everything else which is one of the reasons why the rail track or network rail as it is now wants to electrify all the, the um, lines and everything. Um, it does make sense and it does but what doesn't make sense is that we're exporting all these trains that realistically we've been told we can't use in England because of the, um, the emission the emission, the, emission, the emission laws and everything else and yet we can ship them all across the sea to other countries where they can be used um, which well surely it's not just England that is in a climate crisis it's the entirety of the world so is it not that you're just kind of making things worse or moving the prob problem elsewhere I don't know but anyway it's not for me to decide I'm not going to get into politics politics while playing this game um, if you do agree with me however um, hit that like button and uh, put a comment below because I do think that is an issue um, but I don't really want to get into politics in the game as I said so if you yeah <laughs> I could prob probably do um, a face to face one on that um, a bit of a sad horn really um, unfortunately um, but yeah, no, I, I, I just, I do enjoy this route. Um, I just think it's a shame that they've not upgraded, dare I say the word, upgraded the um, line to be more modern, especially, I know it's a, a TS2 um, add-on and back in the day of TS2, all the rail upgrade works were taking place. God do I know that, um, where I live, right by the railway line. Um, it was, yeah, <laughs> a couple of years at least, at least between the um, outskirts of Slough to Reading line was completely electrified um, with the overhead ACs. Um, and yeah, it, it was interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah. What are we getting there now? 100 and 405. I, I recently, a couple of days ago, did a video with the Class 395 and um, 
I must admit, I did smile to myself when I got to Ipswich and went on from third rail up to AT. Um, and the acceleration is just absolutely unreal. Um, seeing, the ja 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 seeing the javelins or Hitachis, whatever they actually are, that they run on the, the Great West Railway now. Um, again, the, the acceleration on those things with the overhead is just absolutely insane. Um, I mean, I don't know where we are. I was, I'm going to approach. Yes, we're approaching uh, Southall. Yeah, I actually thought it might be a bit far, farther up the track, but yeah, um, within ten minutes, it's and we're still under 110 miles an hour. Um, you can understand why AC is sort of getting used. Um, that or the game does not tr truly depict the uh, acceleration capabilities of these bad boys. I, d I don't know. Let us know um, your thoughts below. I mean, let, um, let's have a conversation about it. Let's just see what the uh, what the real life element to train sim world is. I mean, I don't know. Um, years and years and years ago, I used to play flight sim, which was sort of realistic in a sort of realistic way. Um, I'm not overly sure what train sim is like in the realms of reality, but um, yeah. Let me know. 25 miles to go. So the good thing is, I mean, it, it is pre pretty much a 125 line. I think it slows down a bit near Slough and then speeds up again, um, if I remember correctly. Um, but it is one of those those routes which it's, yeah. Um, I'll see how long this video, this video takes. We're probably about 10, 11 minutes in. Um, and we've got another 15 minutes to go. So it's, it's it's quite interesting when you actually take how long it, it takes in real life to go from Slough to London, for instance, <coughs> um, on the train that stops. Whereby when you get, I mean, if you're lucky enough to actually be able to get onto the HST, um, it's it's relatively quicker <laughs> by about 15 minutes, um, like end to end, um, as opposed to almost an hour when you're doing all stops. So. I will do an all stop stop a one, um, even if I have to cut the video into two part A part B's. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throttle down a little bit because uh, we're going downhill. We're almost on our top speed. As I say, we will also be hitting slow at some point, which we do need to slow down for. I don't believe we slow down by much. I think it's down to... <clears throat> actually, I'm not going to say it, because <laughs> I'm probably wrong. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I think we do have to slow down. Consid I, I, I want to say considerably, I don't know. Um, I don't think they... I, I can't remember. I mean, I mean, I use slow station a lot, which is kind of bizarre. Um, but I can't actually remember it, but, but I don't think they've, they've actually got a high speed line through that can run on full pal. Um, as I say, I might, I might be wrong.
to the map quickly because that did actually, yep, it is slow. And I was wrong, you don't actually have to slow down for slow. Um, <laughs> so I was talking completely out my backside. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> I was going to say it looked a bit familiar, it looked a little bit familiar that. So in reality, I mean, once you get up to 125 miles an hour, you are pretty much on that all the way into Reading, um, which is in 15 miles, so um, and at 124 miles, that's about 7 minutes, so we're going to be early, by the looks of it. So I'm a comment, comment at the start about um, having time to set up a desk and everything else, I mean, again, yeah, I was in the wrong, so I think this episode is, is just going to be me completely and utterly in the wrong. The, um, <laughs> Yeah, let us know your thoughts. Um, I am trying my best. I'm, I'm kind of trying to be a little bit more engage, engaging in these. Um, as I say, I'm not train spotter or anything else. I just enjoy trains. Um, <clears throat> I certainly, I wouldn't like to think I would stand on a railway bridge or anything else. Not that there's anything wrong in doing that. Um, but ultimately, I'm going to say there's overhead gantries where I don't remember overhead gantries. kind of making me wonder if they have actually electrified it now. I don't know, it's been a while since I've been on this map. No, they haven't. If I remember correctly, the gantries were there, but they weren't, they didn't have any wires on them. Unless they changed it. Kind of makes me want to do another video on the way back. I don't know. Mm. Anyway, yeah, I'm trying to become a little bit more engaging with all of this. Um, as I say, I am new. I, I, well, I say I'm new. I'm trying my best to sort sort of gain confidence in myself and my hobbies and my convictions and 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 everything else I do wrong in my life. Not that I have any convictions, obviously. Um, but ultimately, I, I, I just, yeah. Um, I play the games, I would play them if I wasn't going to record or stream or whatever. So I, 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 I just kind of think it's pr 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 pretty cool just, um, I don't know, again, spe speaking out my backside. <laughs> so we're 11 miles out and we've got 9 minutes-ish to go um, before we're due in Reading. Um, so unless something goes horribly wrong with the train, which which again is some, which is some, some, some there, which is something else. I, I, I don't quite fully understand um, how this works because you don't seem to get held up anywhere. Um, I can remember doing a scenario episode where it was like, oh, you're running 10 minutes late, can you get the train back on time? And like, literally every single signal was green and it was an express route and they just overtimed the route. And it was just like, oh, are you try, trying to. I, I don't know. Either I was that good at it, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'd, <laughs> as I say, I just, I just don't know. Um, it is kind, of, it is kind of weird to me that, um, yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I mean, I know at five thirty-eight in the morning, you're not really going to get held up anywhere because, let's face it, commute, the commuter trains wouldn't necessarily start wouldn't have necessarily started out for the day. Um, again, I might be wrong, I suppose it depends on the line, but I mean, I've tried to get a train at five o'clock in the morning and failed. Um, so, yeah, um, I know lots of trains, and that's one of the reasons why I drive a car in all honesty everywhere I go, um, so that I'm not, um, I'm not reliant on the public transport side of things. So I believe Twyford's current coming up, um, which means we're nearly there. Uh, yeah.
definitely Twyford. So we are going to have to slow down in a minute to 95 miles an hour. Um, just no biggie, we're going up a hill. So <laughs> that should actually help us out a little bit. Um, nice, brake train. Um, kind of thinking if we let the train do the work then we're still progressing. Huge oversight by my part there. I'm kind of hoping I've lowered it enough. I know theoretically we could knock some of that brake force down a bit, but I think approaching at 30 mile an hour is a lot better. There we go, and doors are unlocked. Just loading up the passengers, and then obviously we can't go further than this because this is where the route ends. Um, so yeah, we did it, we we're on time, nice and early, despite my faux pas with the speed. Um, nice and easy, and this is the, I think the downside to um, to the Great West Railway line or the Yadon pack that you just can't use electric, um, which is a shame. So anyway, uh, we'll just wait and see what the score is and hopefully we've aced it. Um, yeah, if there's any service number you want me to do, um, give us a um, comment below. Um, there's a couple of packs I don't have yet. Um, and I'm not hinting or anything, but until I'm monetized, realistically, I can't really keep affording to do stuff or buying stuff. So it's it's pretty much done as and when I can. Um, but I'm pretty sure um, that yeah. So score breakdown minus 65 for speeding, um, and that's pretty much it. And I got a silver. No.
I lost 65 points because of that. Uh, that's gutted. I'm gutted. That is quite gut. That is quite gut. Gut. Gutting, really. Um. Yeah. Oh well, I'll have to do that one again <laughs> at some point. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Every little bit helps. And I will see you all in the next one. FYI, that video took about half an hour, so I wasn't quite uh, off when I said about twenty minutes ish for that route. Anyway, have a um, have a good day, folks, and I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching.